going on you guys I'm cartel from hell back again with another video this time we're gonna do something a little bit different on this channel from what we usually do I actually want to start including you guys in a lot more when it comes to collecting in general and my collection and because I use the IKEA packs there are a couple things that you have to do to go ahead and secure those shelves a little bit better so they just give you a little bit more peace of mind when you put a lot of weight on these statues. If you guys have already known for a long time, you know, a lot of people have been using Bestas and Bestas are great, man. Their only downside is that they're smaller and you can't put in as many pieces. The Bestas are great though because the Bestas come with metal clips that hold the shelves and it will support a lot of weight. You can probably put 80 pounds on each best of shelf. I've put at least, you know, 50 pounds on one shelf and it didn't bow. I wasn't worried about it for one second, you know what I mean? Now, that's different with the packs. The packs, they come with these really cheap metal clips that hold the shelves on. To make that a little better, you gotta go and hack that. You know, you gotta get some, uh, I use these right here. These are little corner braces from Home Depot, ever built corner braces. They're one and a half inches. This is really all you need. They're super cheap, you guys are like $1.50. And I've seen a lot of collectors use bigger corner brackets and also corner brackets that are maybe like three times, four times the size of these. And then they also have the metal bar that goes from corner to corner of the bracket as well. You really don't need that, you guys. To also eliminate some of the shelf sag, you can use a piece of metal that goes from this bracket to this bracket and spans all the way across the uh, the bottom of the shelf itself. This is just to remedy the shelf from falling. That other bar would remedy the shelf from bowing. So yeah, you guys, let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and get these in. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. Super simple. All you need is a drill bit. You just need a drill bit a little bit smaller than the screw that you're screwing inside the cabinet and a drill, that's it. If you don't have one, get a Milwaukee, man. They're the best, I love them. All right, you guys, let's get that in. Before we go ahead and do anything else, we gotta get these statues up out of the display. This one right here is the Bowen Hulkbuster. If you guys have never seen it before, I've already done a review of this one. Really impressive piece, man. Absolutely love this piece. Don't forget about Bowen Designs, man. They got some great statues. So yeah, I'm gonna get that one up out the way. All right, so this Sideshow Hulkbuster comic cat. This thing is notorious for having a really weak magnet on this arm right here. So every time I move this statue, I always disconnect the arm first because you don't want it to drop. Yeah, this statue is super notorious for that. The magnet is strong, it's just the angle that it goes in. Yeah, this is a really great piece as well. I love this statue. All right, so now we're gonna get the XM Studios Medusa up out the way and Lockjaw right after her. Let's go ahead and get Lockjaw. All right, you guys, so now all we have to do is go ahead and drill some pilot holes so that you can screw in these screws a lot easier. I really like this drill because when you hold the trigger, a little spotlight comes on before it starts drilling. Makes it so much easier, man. All right, now the second one. All right, now we've got the pilot holes in. other screws screwed in get this bracket in place nice and tight baby all right on to the next one yeah baby now I'm gonna go ahead and do the other three so you don't need them in the middle you just need the one on the front one on the back and then on the other side as well all right you guys so like I said before I'm gonna go ahead and show you the bracket, how it looks installed. So this is the bracket. Like I said, I put it behind the IKEA bracket. You know, you really can't notice it too much, especially from the front. It looks like it's pretty much, you know, meant to be there. 
That's the reason why I like these smaller brackets. You know, they do the job, they're not gonna break, they hold a lot of weight, and they don't look bad. So for the back one, we do the same, except for I put it in front of the old Ikea bracket. So that's pretty much it, man. Super easy hack. I don't put one in the middle because it's really not necessary. I would say that with these brackets, this shelf will hold 100 pounds easily. Like I said before, I was gonna go ahead and let you guys know how to stop your shelf from bowing. Because if you put too much weight on any of these shelves, they will bow, even with these brackets. You're gonna want to go ahead and put a piece of metal from this bracket and span it all the way to this bracket. So basically what that's gonna do is just support under the part of this part of the shelf and it's gonna make it really rigid and just not let it bow. Really easy hack, you guys. You pretty much have to do it if you're gonna use these display units. If you don't wanna do all that, I would recommend looking into something else. But if you wanna go this route, that's pretty much how you handle it. So yeah, this is the reason why we take the statue out before we drill anything. <laughs> Super messy, man. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and throw a Vegeta in the display right now. I really wanna put him right here because I have a second one coming in and I wanna put the second one right here and it's almost gonna be like bookends. It's gonna look dope, man. All right, so I've already measured Vegeta. He is 20 and one quarter inches tall. My display right here is 23 and one quarter inches. And just so you guys know, these are 22 and three quarter inches deep. Almost 28 and a quarter inches wide. So these actually give you a lot of space, man. Other than the Besta, because the Besta is only 14 and a quarter inches deep and 22 and a quarter inches wide. So you get a lot more space with these. So yeah, let's go ahead and get Vegeta in right now. All right, so real quick on the side note, because Vegeta is only 20 and one quarter inches tall and my display is 23 and one quarter inches tall, I got three inches of play room. So I decided to go ahead and put one of these little turntables you can get from Amazon inside the display just so I can have that option to view Vegeta at 360 degrees. I might not always keep it like that. I have a couple of these turntables so I can spare using one on the display for Vegeta. All right, so we have his little plaque that goes on the Sume stand. Go ahead and throw that next to Vegeta as well. Love that little plaque, man. They killed it with that. We also have an art print that Sume included with this Vegeta statue. I need to get this framed up before I do anything with it. So I really don't want the corners to get all messed up and all that. Came on some really nice paper though. It's pretty dope, man. I'm gonna show you guys the COA real quick too. All right, you guys, so here's the COA. It came with Vegeta, 331 out of 3000. I'm gonna get this little thing framed up as well. Super dope, man, loving it. So now that we got Vegeta in the display, I'm gonna go ahead and give him a quick spin around. I have to say, man, I really love this piece. Easily one of my favorite statues, if not my favorite. It's just so epic. Look at that shading in there, man. All the highlights from the energy wave. So badass, you guys. You know, it'd be really nice to be able to have all your statues on these turntables, but really it's not possible because of the proportions of a lot of these statues. If you turn it around, they'll probably hit the display and break. But this one, the turntable's working really well for it. It'd be super nice to have this thing on like a um, automatic turntable on a sensor, you know, a motion sensor, so that every time you walk inside your room, it just starts spinning for you. <laughs> That'd be so badass, man. One day, maybe. But I actually have to uh, go ahead and run I have to drill a hole inside this display so I can run the wiring for the uh, for the hookups right here so I can have the light feature and the sound the sound effects. Um, I haven't done the lighting for this display cabinet right here yet, 
So when I go ahead and tear this display cabinet down and run the lighting, I'm going to go ahead and do that at the same time. I'm also going to make another video for that so you guys can see the way that I run my electrical for my lighting in another video. Alright you guys, I really appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoy videos like this and want more, definitely let me know. You know, this is something that I've been thinking about doing for a while. It's just a little extra, a little bonus, you know, a little behind the scenes of uh, the Cartel from Hell collection. All right, you guys. Thanks for watching. Cartel out.